It has been a while since we have talked about study habits. I think it's been probably close to two years since I have put out a video on studying and my study habits have changed and I just wanted to relay those to you. So if you wonder what it was like for Ryan to study in his 20s, you can click this video right here. And if you are curious about what I do today, then you can just keep on watching. So I feel like I should preface this video by saying that learning does not come easy to me. So I do have a friend who has a PhD in microbiology and then a JD in law. And for him, I asked him one time how he remembers everything. And he told me, I just read the textbook. And I asked him, like, you never have to study. And he said, no, just read the textbook. And I just don't forget it. That is not the case with me, and I'm pretty sure that is a very rare case. And if you are watching this video, then I'm going to assume that that is not you. And in reality, that is the total opposite of me. I'm a very slow reader. It takes me a while to study and to learn, and I just have to continually go over things over and over. In fact, if you don't believe me, here is a picture of my report card from when I was in high school. So now you know that learning and test taking and school just did not come easy to me. It actually took some discipline. So before we talk about how to study, I think it'll be helpful to understand like the best way to incorporate discipline into your life to actually accomplish the goals that you have set for you in the world of cybersecurity. To build discipline, one of the best things you can do is to actually just get up early in the mornings. This is something that is gonna be hard for you if you're under 25 to hear, but it is the truth. If you're able to just get up out of bed and take your head off of that soft fluffy pillow and actually get to work, that is gonna take a lot of discipline. And what happens is one small step leads to another small step and nobody wants to get up out of bed early for no reason. So now we're gonna go ahead and shift into what I do now for studying and how I stay up to date. I make it a point to have two study sessions every single day, regardless if it's a weekday or a weekend. It's all the same to me, and it should be for you too. If you wanna make progress, you keep consistency. Now, let's talk about the power of routine. My day starts early at 6 a.m., as I already mentioned, every single day. This is the golden hour for me. The time is when my mind is the freshest, and I can really absorb new information, and it seems to be this way for most people, according to most studies that have been done on productivity and memory. I used to start a lot earlier between 4 and 5 a.m. back when that worked into my schedule. It's crucial for you to figure out when is the best time for you because it's not going to be the same for everybody. But for me, it is definitely in the morning and that is my peak time for studying. There are other people that I know that their peak time for studying is late in the afternoon or late into the night and you might be one of those people. So up next is planning. It's important to plan what you wanna learn and in what order. I personally make a list of things like learning goals for the end of each day, week, month, and even an entire year. Setting small goals helps you achieve things in small increments, but also having the one month, six month, and one year goals will really help you out in the long run because you'll be able to make real progress over time. But remember, life happens and sometimes you get sick or friends stop by unexpectedly and you miss out on a study set I like to have three days each month blocked off just in case I get busy. When it's time to study, it's crucial to eliminate all distraction, turn off the YouTube, and remove all distractions such as your phone, notifications, email, and all that stuff. Trust me, you will thank me later. After I hit my study goals, I move on into work from 8 to 4, followed by family time until 8, and then I have a little extra time at the end of the day where I like to just spend some time reading. I focus on materials that are mostly educational, like history books or biographies. Back when I was studying, for cybersecurity, it usually always revolves around cybersecurity stuff, but now I have time to read what I want to and take notes. So for you, you might want to spend that time in the evening focusing on cybersecurity, but for me, I like to take a break and read some history. And the last thing I really want to mention is that it's important for you to continually test and quiz yourself. For me, I like to go back and practice all of the things that I've been learning somewhere inside of a CTF or even writing some code and trying to figure out how to do a specific exploit on my own. However, it's a crucial to set realistic goals. Very few people can continually fail to meet their goals and stay motivated. So start out easy with your goals and then progressively make them longer and more difficult over the next few months to really figure out what you're made of and see if you can endure to try and figure out your specific schedule that's going to work best for you. So that is kind of my schedule and what I do now and how I work through studying. If you want my intense what I did back in the day to learn, you can go ahead and check that video out. But for me, one of the things that's going to be really important is to have realistic goals. There are very few people who can set goals and continually fail to meet them and still be motivated to continue studying and learning and pursuing whatever that passion is. So set realistic goals. I would actually recommend you set very easy goals for your first day, your first week, your first month, maybe even your first three months and figure out what you're made of and how far you can push yourself 
and then start to set goals that'll be a little more challenging, but are realistic that you can meet. So that way you can keep motivated and can keep moving forward. Thanks for watching.